Hello and welcome to the demo for Dream of Me, what is meant to be an escape the room puzzle game that's really quite challenging. Apparently you're dumped in an area and the game doesn't really hold your hand, it's completely up to you to discover your way out of this room. The room you see in the background I believe. Now if you want to try this out yourselves, you can, it's a completely free download and the link will be down below in the description. Alright, hope you enjoy it, let's play Dream of Me. Oh right, okay. Oh really? Oh, we got two levels. That's not bad for a demo. I suppose let's start with the first one. Here we go. Ah, all right, all right. <laughs> Everyone's been warned now. Okay. Sound very out of breath. Am I panicked? Have I been chased? I guess I'm looking at a computer monitor. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm the subject. Okay. An attempt was made to spell that correctly, but... Subject ID 932D1. Is that me? I guess so. Okay. Well, here we are then. Right. Let's uh, let's proceed. Let's see if we can uh, escape the room. Proceed forward. Your work means progress. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I guess I'm like a computer program. I guess I'm in some sort of simulation within the game. Interesting. Okay. That looks kind of dangerous, honestly. Should be alright there. Walk forward, walk forward. That's what I'm doing! <laughs> You're living a lie. Oh, great. So, uh... Fire escape? No, in fact... That's not even the proper door, no! It's just the door leaning up against the wall. Ah, uh, alright. Yes, sim room KA2. Alright. Work means progress, right? Okay. Can I pick up the monitor? Oh, here we go. We've got a beer bottle. Okay. Yep, yeah, sure. Got a camera as well. Fantastic. Um, What was it? Ah, there you go. Yeah, I did briefly look at the controls. If you hold down shift, apparently you can have a look at things from different angles, which I suppose is probably going to help us through the game and through the room. Just those two things, I guess. All right. Um, yeah, let's just keep on going. External memories, eh? Setting up emotional parameters? Oh, you can leave those out. <laughs> I don't want to start bawling. Doesn't look like I can jump, crouch, sprint, anything like that. It's all very, very simple. I'd say. The destination is near. Deviating from path is strictly prohibited. Apparently, okay. Can I even deviate? I don't think I can. Right. Maybe this is just the tutorial to get me used to the controls and stuff before I actually dumps me in the sim room. Productive workers will be rewarded. Get your reward now. Follow the path. What's this? Hold on. Ah, there's something on the back. What was that? 2218? Okay. Some sort of code for something? A password, maybe? 2218. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I do actually have a pen and paper. Maybe I'll be required to use them. I don't know how uh, complex this is going to be. I do like the sort of escape the room subgenre. It's really, really fun. I've played quite a lot of them now as well. Ah, look at this, a keypad. Uh, right, so... Yeah? Okay, yeah, well, sure! What the hell have we got here? Right, well... Do I, uh... I do, I do go to sleep, as everyone else watches. 
Wait, oh god, <laughs> I thought you weren't pointing that way before. Are you all watching me? Sort of. Oh boy. Alright, well, let's go to sleep. This is more like it. Right, so yeah, that was just a tutorial, I think. Yes, I don't think this is your average, everyday escape the room. I think this is more like escape the world. But that's going to be fleshed out more in the full game, I believe. Right. Uh, okay. I should answer the door, apparently, sure. So this is the room I have to escape. Uh, cabinet door, can we close this one? Do I? Oh, I don't need to. Uh, okay. That's the bathroom, which is locked. Is it this one? Is this the one that someone was knocking on? Oh, right, okay, it's locked. I need my keys, sure. And I need to find the, the bathroom door key as well, it looks like. Uh, right. Let's see, what have we got in the cabinet? We got a book. Time Travel and So Forth by J. Mosh. Books won't bring Dana back. I don't suppose we can open the pages or anything, can we? No, I guess not. This? Hmm. I found it when I moved in. I have no idea what it is. What the hell have we got here? There's, uh, I think Russian in the bottom right of it. Let's see. I don't know, maybe a code breaker or something? Hmm. Alright, well, I'll put that down until I know what to do with it. Anyway, oh, look at this. Ah! We have a lockbox. Oh, check this out. Alright, we are looking for what seems to be a six digit password. Okay, and they all seem to go. Yeah, one, two, three, or four. Okay, sure. Something up here? Oh, a VHS movie. A Russian movie, which I got from my neighbor, Vladimir. Never got to watch it, maybe because I don't understand Russian. Oh yeah. Hang on a minute, let's get a better look at it. <laughs> I think I may have seen that image before somewhere. Right. Okay, let's close the door. Anything on the door? High school. Ah, there's an ID number, but it's not the number I'm looking for for the lockbox, I don't think. What's this? Do not waste your money. Oh, the switch is faulty. I need to call the electrician laser. Right. We have a desk lamp here, which is missing a light bulb, dude. Well, there's one. Oh, that's the dead one. Right, okay. I need to find a replacement. Sure. Post-it note. Uh, with a stain on it, not much else. I can't seem to uh, move this at all. I can't twist this around. There's a photograph as well. Oh, hang on, what was that? Oh, okay, we've got like a backpack here with a book inside. This seems pretty detailed, honestly. Stop yourself drinking. Okay. Nothing on the back. I'm just hoping for more codes, to be honest. Yeah, let's have a look at this photograph, though. Is that supposed to be me? Wasn't the best photograph. <laughs> Humans and cities, eh? Um... Surprising uses of the magnets inside them for photography use, apparently. Okay. Again, like the post-it note, I can't twist this around. There's invisible ink down here. A shady marker, right. I don't normally put this here. Have I used this? Maybe. Can't seem to use the computer. Coffee mug? Fuel for ideas, apparently. Yeah, might want cleaning, to be honest. That looks completely disgusting. Oh, I see, yeah. Um, that post-it note. Did you write something on the post-it note with invisible ink by any chance? Because that seems a bit odd. Oh, drawers as well? Oh, wow, all right. What's in there? Playing cards? With a strange perspective of them, but yeah, okay. There's a receipt for something from Johnny's shop. This is not real, David. Hmm. Okay, um... Looks like I bought the lockbox from this place as well, $120, I guess. And didn't I just see a book about, like, trying to stop drinking? Obviously it didn't work. Well, maybe I haven't finished it yet. Right, that's it. Okay, we got a cannon here too. 
Replica of a Civil War cannon, sure. You know, I should probably just look for the damn keys. <laughs> I'm just getting really involved with these details. Another book. Cities. Getting lost in them, sure. Right, let's just look for keys, shall we? Just to start with. Uh, windows open, right? This is definitely a simulation. There should be something out there, right? Doesn't look like I can close it. Got a radio ball of string. There's a board game. I don't know, do I hide my keys somewhere, possibly? There's empty bottles. Bloody hell, it really wasn't working, that book, was it? Yeah, I crashed so hard. Got a pizza box. No pizza. Bloody hell. The rover ad. Oh, we got a key! We got a key! A bathroom key. Right, I never locked my bathroom. Why is it locked now? Oh, we have a new option as well. We can take this. Now scroll to cycle through the inventory, apparently. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll be heading into the bathroom. Um, still. What about these drawers? Oh, my God. What the hell was that? No. Just trying to pick it up, actually. What the hell is that about, I wonder? That seems important. There's another book. Uh, okay, we've got to start just having a look at stuff, I suppose, so yeah. Oh, this Humans of Cities magazine thing, right. We appreciate your interest in our magazine, Humans of Cities, and the time you invested in shooting and sending the photos for our old but new section. While your photography is skillful, we are looking for more experienced photographers. But we'd like to thank you for talking to our team and giving us a part of your time. Right, okay. Yeah, that final sentence sums it up, I think. We wish you good luck in your future endeavours. Shit. <laughs> it didn't go so well. Alright, can't mess with the clock. The telephone. Got some pills here. Or, I did have some pills. The Florix? Or, no, Florin. Flor one of those. Hmm. I guess I went through them. Okay. Let's see... The Derover ad. That's right. Looking for a place to showcase your work. Right, right. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking for employment, it seems. What's that? Fizzle? <laughs> Fizzle. Brilliant. Bus ticket. Oh, again, some numbers, but I need them to be within one, two, three, or four. Uh, no, that's not going to be the one, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. What's that down there? Oh! Okay, it's a mysterious note. Mr. David, I want to remind you again that the due date for this month's rent is the 28th. I expect payment from the previous two months too. No more excuses. This is the final warning, else I will have to take desperate measures. You'll be kicked out. Fair enough. Ooh. That kind of freaked me out, I guess. Right. Okay. The door is open. The bottles are falling in by themselves. That's a little spooky, I suppose. Actually, one of the tags for this game was horror, but it didn't really seem to me to be much of a horror game. Uh, simulation theory is life just zeros and ones. Could be. And that probably does spell out a, a small sentence, honestly. Don't know what it would be, though. Not without, you know, Googling it. Are there people that can just, like, read binary? Probably are, to be honest. What do we got here? We got the sink. Oh, oh, hang on! Right! Ah, oh, I can't reach it! Is, wait, is that the key? Is that the front door key? I can't reach it, though. Right. Sure. Wait, hang on. Can we, um... Yeah, close this. Cabinet door. The hinges seem to be stuck. I need to loosen them somehow, I guess. Okay. Again, you are living a lie. I saw that before this loaded. Strange. Can we stop the dripping, please? Pick up the bottles, no. Gotta say, I am living a little bit like a slob, aren't I? Okay, I guess the lights just don't work. Do not waste your money again. Yeah, no power. No power at all. Sorry. What's this? Another mysterious note. What the fuck? <laughs> If you're reading this, then it means that things have been set in motion. 
you probably have amnesia. They intended for this to happen, probably even uh, keep people in their cells. I can't tell you much of fear of getting caught, but find and check your camera. You'll see that things are not what they look like. And again, probably a small sentence in binary. Uh, I can't flip this around. Right, my camera. I did see a camera before getting here, right? I haven't seen that yet, though. Something down here, tissue box, right? Still no power, right? Hmm. I don't think I'm having too much luck at the moment, to be honest. I need to, need to get the cabinet open. I need to get the keys. I need to find something to pry the keys away. Do I have anything in my inventory? Wait, what the fuck? What's this? My journal. Alright, things are just appearing around me, it seems. Well, let's take it. Okay. Oh, blimey. Okay, we've got a little bit of reading to do, it seems. I guess I'll go through it. 12th of May. She's gone. I have no idea how to express my thoughts right now. Last night we had a gigantic fight. She called me abusive and an alcoholic. The past few months have been rough for our relationship. I've kept changing jobs, not fitting anywhere. And she kept complaining that it was too hard to keep supporting us both. That I am a drunken slob who jumps from one job to another, not giving a damn about her. She didn't understand what I was going through, and that a glass of forget-it-all was the only thing which calmed me down for a while. Okay, uh... Last turning, it was the turning... <laughs> last turning, it was the turning point? Last night, it was the turning point, let's say. Uh, she came to visit and found me drinking again. I was trying to forget yet another of my photography failures, another rejection. I tried sending some of my photos to a local photography magazine, and failed. She came in, saw me drinking, head resting in hands. She didn't scream, didn't get angry. She needed a break, and she left. Later, a friend of hers brought me a letter. Okay, an opportunity arises. Now, we've already seen this briefly, the Rover Art Gallery, right? Looking for talented photographers. Uh, sure. I've sent a few photos along with half of the remaining money. Hmm. I have to pay the landlord or I'm going to get kicked out. Okay. Dana went to visit one of her friends on the 22nd of May, apparently. Bus tickets. Yeah, saw those briefly. Some flowers. Sure. I tried fixing the bathroom cabinet and lost my keys in the sink. Shit, yeah. And then just random thoughts, it seems. What is happening? I've decided to take a nap and the sun is in the same place when I went to sleep. The clock is not working anymore. Aggressive door knocking and floating notes. And I'm hearing sounds. I need to take my pills. I remember leaving them in the bathroom cabinet. Right, there you go. There's the reason to get in, I guess. And also, yeah, find the camera. Things are not what they look like, David. Find your camera. It's the only way I can show you. Did I write this? That is the very end of the journal, it seems. Neat, okay. Cigarette pack. Do we have a look at this before? See, there could be some very subtle clues on this sort of everyday stuff. Have a look at that, sure. Mm, right, of course I need to find a bulb for that as well, right? Uh, yeah. So, I haven't really had a look at the stuff over there either. Let's, let's go back to, I suppose, the hourglass, right? Or wait. What's this? Oh, interesting. Nice little sort of um, limerick, I guess. A little poem. Hourglass. Sand's not falling for some reason. Anything on the top? Or the bottom? On the base? No. Got like a bust. Some sort of head up here. No? Okay. Uh, yeah, I had a look at the drawer. There was that shady marker. Cr oh, crumpled paper. Can't even twist that round. I no idea. Uh, yeah, sure. So, something in here? Oh, what we got? Oh, rust, rust lube? Something we can take, though. Like WD-40 or something. Yeah, sure. Uh, take that. That might, yeah, that might be useful. Hold on. So, it was mouse wheel, wasn't it? There you go, there you go. Let's try it on the, uh, on the, on the cabinet door. Hey, it works! Look at that! Hey, this is pretty cool. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I saw that before. In one of the drawers? Anyway, pills! That I actually can't take. 
you still get these visions out of my head. Well, I, I guess I'd take them <laughs> if I could, but I can't. There's a screwdriver here. Again, I can't take it. I need a safer way to pull them out, right. Is it them? Looks like there's only one, but maybe there's another one dangling below. Hmm. Anything down here in the box? Yeah, oh, yep, there is a light bulb. It's a UV light bulb. There's got to be something to do with this invisible ring, right? Uh, yeah, take that. Okay. Uh, well, hang on a minute. There's no, um... There's no power, though, right? It does fit in. Hooray! But nothing's... nothing's going on. I guess that's battery-powered? Didn't miss anything up here, did I? There's a few boxes. Something in the coat pockets? Uh, I don't know. Right. Giving away free books. Nothing else down here. No. There are quite a lot of details in this, really. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. This is where it is? In the bathroom? <laughs> oh, man. Wait. Oh, okay. So we can play with each of these switches, it seems. And there's a fuse slot. Can't pull the panel open, though? No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Close that again. Just ones and zeros, maybe? Yeah, ones and zeros. Okay. Let's take a look at the other one. Uh, was it in... Yes, there you go. It's the same piece of paper, I think. I don't know which is the top, which is the bottom, but... um. Give me a sec. I do have a piece of paper here, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Which way am I going to write it down? Like this way or that way? This way, I guess. Okay, so it's like a one, one, zero, one. So it's like on, on, off, on, I guess. And that's the end. Okay. Is that the end or is that the start? I'm not sure. So that's that one. Uh, yeah, close that up. Yeah, so there are seven of them. This is definitely what it's about. And then it's, uh... Uh, I might be doing this the wrong way, actually. Yeah. I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah, one, zero, zero. Or possibly zero, zero, one. I guess we'll see, won't we? Okay. Right, so that's that's written down. I've got the two sections here. Let's see if we can work this out then. Don't have a fuse. Do we need one? I suppose we probably do, but let's see if we can work this out to begin with. So, uh, uh, let's see. Is that going to be the start? Let's assume that's the start, shall we? So, okay. And then these two want to be up. And then, well, I f let me just check. It would be there, wouldn't it? So it would be 1101. I see, I see. So, yeah. Uh, one, one, zero, 1101. We need the fuse, don't we? Wait, 2912. Is that going to help? Probably not. It's missing something. Yeah, we need to find a fuse. Right, okay. Well, there's a lot of things we need to find. Ah. Uh, Thing over here, no. Right, yeah, let's actually check out this area. I haven't actually played with this, have I? So, yeah, there's a board game here. I used to play this with Dana. We would always argue after a couple of turns, but it was different. Hmm. Nothing on the back of this one. No strange codes, nothing like that. Um, a ball of string? How long is it? Uh -huh. Got a cradle here. Oh, that's nice. Yet another bottle. Can I tune this, or is that all we got? I think that's all we got. Let's just leave it on, just in case there is some sort of clue that comes with it. No oh, how oh, right. There's actually more. Ro there's a lot more in here. It looks like. Okay, there's a camera lens. Uh, I need to find a camera, right? 
but it looks like I can't take this with me. Fair enough. An unknown book? Hasn't actually got a cover as such. No title. Anything on the spine? No. There's uh, duct tape. If it can't be fixed with duct tape, you're not using enough. No, that's true. More crumpled paper. I think that's it, though. Oh, the trash bag? Didn't see this. Ah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Maybe at a later date. An empty glass, right. Do I want to fill it up? Probably not. Twelve, exactly twelve. Hmm. I don't think I'm getting anything out of this. So, no. Dreamcatcher again. Can we have a look at that? No. Restaurant. I think, actually, maybe in the full game there is going to be a uh, restaurant level. I think there's a screenshot or a couple of screenshots of it. Lanley beer, right. Lots of bottles we can have a look at. They all seem to be more or less the same. Some photographs down there. Right. Ah, there it is. There it is. There's the fuse. Right. Yep, and we can take it. Fantastic. Nothing else down there. Just the sink. Okay, so the fuse. Where is it? There it is. Right, so that was it. That was it. Okay, so that, that was fine. I didn't do it in reverse or anything. That's fantastic. So... Oh, I can't use this one. But the one, the one outside I can use... Fantastic, okay. Oh, and the, the the lamp, right? Yes, okay, and it, it's shining. It's shining on the note. Ah, oh, there you go. Two, four, three, one, three, four. Well, that's... That's for the lockbox? Two, four, three. One, three, four. Hey, yeah, okay. Hey, I'm liking this. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's the camera. My trusty old camera, and yes, I can take this. The screen will glitch when hidden objects are nearby, and it's hard to use the camera. Got a camera battery, too. Um, okay, let's take that. Note from Dana. Dear David, I just can't take it anymore. The fighting, the screams, all of this. It took me a very long time, but I finally realized that things between us will never work out. All we have in common is our past, and it is time for you to realize that. I cannot be your constant support pillar. I've dealt with your angry alcoholic outbursts, your constant failures, and your self-centered view of the world for far too long. You keep using me as an emotional washcloth, and it's draining me. I need some time. I'll be moving away for a few weeks to my aunt, my brothers, or whoever will let me sleep on the couch for a while. You're not a good person, David. Your traits are not fit for me. For your friends, and for anyone. Sometimes I wish you could express yourself as beautiful as you capture the world around us. P.S. Be more like your photos, David. I'm going to direct your attention once again to one of his photos. What the fuck does she mean by that? Be more blurry. I don't know. Be harder to see. Anyway, uh, I've got a camera. This is nice. This is a, a, a neat dynamic. Now... Oh, shit! Oh, well, this is a fancy camera. Okay. Let's see what... Oh, there's another one up there. Is that up there? Jesus Christ. Wait, am I just being monitored in every single... Yep, yeah, I'm being monitored in every single room. That's crazy. Uh, what about if I look outside? Can I see anything else outside? Oh, I thought I was going to see, like, the holodeck or something from Star Trek. Who knows? All right. Well, let's just take a little look around, I suppose. Doesn't seem like we can actually use anything with this out. Can we actually take pictures? I uh, don't think so. I know how to pull it out and put it away, but that's about it. Yeah, maybe something in the bathroom? Maybe I, I should be able to see something that will allow us to get the key, I guess? Or maybe not. What else haven't we done? What else haven't we dealt with? Is there something down here that I didn't have a look at? It's an extra pizza box. It's the 
suppose. Oh, maybe if I have a look at the photograph with the camera, maybe it makes sense. <laughs> I can't do that, but I don't think so. No. Right. Oh. Whoa, what the... This is it. This is the location. Things are glitching out. What the hell? That's a neat effect. Oh, shit. Hold on. There's like a... Yes, it's a suitcase. There you go. Where'd it go? I photographed it into our world, into this simulation, it seems. Okay, this is quite interesting. What have we got here? A magnet. Magnets, how do they work? A magnet I can take. A magnet that should be able to get the key, right? And a photo frame. I miss you. We'll see each other shortly. I'm sorry, Dana. Right, okay. What does that say on the bottom? Oh, Dana kisses, I think. All these photos are very blurry. I think maybe I should just adjust the focus a little bit on my camera. Maybe that's why I'm getting turned down all the time for my photography. All right. Yes, yes, the magnet. Where is it? There it is. There's the magnet. So, the sink. I've got it. And I think it was just the one key. So, yeah, it wasn't them. It was just that. Uh, and there it is. That's the front door key. I guess so. Ah, uh, and that is where the demo comes to an end, unfortunately, because I was actually having quite a lot of fun with that. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I think I'm actually going to come back to this and play a few more levels or maybe the full game when it comes out. Um, yeah, so on the face of it, it looks quite simplistic. The graphics aren't anything to write home about or anything, but there are actually quite a lot of hidden complexities and, well, there seems to be a wide variety of, like, little puzzles and there's this camera that allows you to see things, the reality of the situation. I kind of want to find out what that binary was about, both on the book and on that mysterious floating letter. Yeah, I think this has got potential, to be honest, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you back next time. Fire escape. No, in fact, that's not even the proper door, no. And didn't I just see a book about, like, trying to stop drinking? Obviously it didn't work. Well, maybe I haven't finished it yet. Sorry, it's shining on the note. Ah, oh, there you go. Be more like your photos, David. I'm going to direct your attention once again to one of his photos. What the fuck does she mean by that? There you go. Right. Where'd it go? I photographed it into our world. All these photos are very blurry. I think maybe I should just adjust the focus a little bit on my camera. Maybe that's why I'm getting turned down all the time for my photography. 